First, I want to ask you: Do you ever go like on YouTube or the internet and just read about what people like? Yeah, I was just like, today I googled you, and then I went to YouTube, and some girl made a tribute video to you. Yeah, it was some of the tribute videos. That's actually one of my favorite things to do is watch them because they put so much time in them, yeah. and some of the editings like go right with the the music. Yeah. It'll like be like. But new picture, like it's so crazy that they do such a good job. So yeah, yeah I love those. I I never go on the blog sites or oh, anything yeah, no. like that. You don't want to do blogs, blogs because that's the thing. It's like tribute videos, nice blogs. People just want that's hey, so nice. You gotta, yeah, you that. they don't have anything nice to say on those. <laughs> how did you start in this? Like, tell me, give me a little bit of the background. How you like pressured your parents to be yeah, like, I well, can do this, I can do this. <laughs> exactly. I, I um, started with dancing. I was like yeah. in, you know, like a seven-year-old in the combination of the 20-minute ballet, 20-minute jazz, 20-minute tap classes. That's what like your basic classes when yeah. you're little. And um, the second we had, you know, our first recital and I stepped out on stage, like I just knew that that's what I wanted to do. I loved it so much. And then from then on, I kept, you know, trying to show my parents like the plays that I would write and, and you know, perform for them all the time and ask them if they would let me, you know, get get into the movies is what I would always ask for them. And um, they were really weary about it because at that time that was when like a lot of like child actors were like divorcing their parents and oh. you know it was like so much drama that they were like we don't need that for the family yeah. you know and you could be like a scientist or something yeah. and I just kept at it and finally they let me um, get into extra work I did background stuff for a little bit and yeah. from then just kept kept getting you know um, bigger agents and um, eventually landed the Cheetah Girls which just completely changed my life and taken my career to amazing, amazing opportunities. So how did that happen? Like, how did you? Uh, what was the audition like when you? It was just came your. It was like your basic audition. I mean, the channel always has auditions for you know, young um, actors and wanting to get for their new shows and stuff like that. And it was just a, an audition that I was really excited for because I read the scripts. I loved it, and um, you know, it was about singing, dancing, and acting, which is what I love to do. And so I was really excited. But I went to like five or six callbacks before I got put on hold, and then they had me on hold for like um like two like maybe two or three weeks, and I was just dying, wondering if I got this job or yeah. not. And then finally I did, and we actually came here um, in 2002 to uh, shoot the first movie. Oh really? You yeah, we shot it in Toronto. Okay, well, for people who don't know, people who know you from Dancing with the Stars and don't know what the Cheetah Girls are, can you explain to me that? Because even I was confused when I first saw them. Like, I saw Cheetah Girls too. That was the first one I saw. And I was like, well, Raven Simone was part of it. And then I was like, but you're not part of the group. And I'm like, right. can you explain the whole Cheetah well, Girls ethos? <laughs> the Cheetah Girls uh, started from a Disney Channel movie or yeah. the Family Channel movie. And um, it's a, about a girl group that um, sings and dances. And um, basically, it's just kind of their adventure of trying to make it, trying to get a record label, trying to do shows. And um, the second movie, they wind up in Barcelona, and they get to do a film festival. And I'm actually leaving in about a week and a half to go to India to film our third one. Yeah. And this one's going to be a Bollywood-based movie. And I'm really excited for it because it's gonna be, that means it's going to be huge musical numbers and just the you know, culture of India is totally going to be tied into so much of it from our clothes to um, the soundtrack that we um, just ended up recording um, in December has a lot of the influence of the instruments that they use and stuff. So it's really, really cool to be able to kind of be, you know, a lot of um, young fans' um, eyes to different parts of the world and yeah. kind of show them different cultures and stuff that, um, you know, they're, they're not so familiar with. Now, is Raven going to be in this third movie? Raven isn't going to be in the third movie. This okay. is the first one she's not in. She's been in every other one. Right. Um, and, you know, it was just kind of, it's hard for people to understand sometimes. But it's, it's just a simple message also with the Cheetah Girls is you can have your best friends and your friends ha have other dreams. You don't have to do everything together, you yeah. know. And um, But we can support each other. I mean, she comes to our shows and we go on tour. And yeah. we completely support her with everything that she's doing. And she wants to do a solo career. So yeah. that's why she wasn't really a part of the music group. Yeah. Um, but this sec this third movie, she's kind of getting into her own stuff already, and um, we're getting a chance to go to India, so I'm really, really excited. So what's it like when you, because we, we talk about Raven, but when you came into the group here, the other two girls used to be in 3LW. Yeah. Now, what was that like when you entered 
the group as not knowing them and how has that your relationship changed over it the years? actually from the very first time we had our first rehearsal um, we actually all went out to lunch before rehearsal and came back and it was like the second I met Keely and Adrian I, it just clicked it was like the energy our personalities just meshed really well and um, I was really excited and of course you know they they really, really tried to, to not make that an issue, you know, wanting to constantly, you know, include me. And I never felt like the odd man out ever. So yeah. it was good. And now, um, you know, the three of us, it's like we've been together for almost five years now. And so it's like we're, we're all equal. It's the same. We feel each, uh, about each other like sisters. And um, we just get along so well. It's like it, I'm getting a chance to tour the States and come to Toronto and also go to, you know, Barcelona and India with my my two best friends. I mean, it's it's an awesome opportunity yeah. for me. So I just feel like truly, truly blessed with yeah. it. Um, we were talking about the House of the Mouse and how it creates stars all the time. When we look at that, the high school musical phenomenon and now the other people like, you know, Shia LaBeouf. And mm -hmm. what do you hope for you to happen? Like, you know, the Cheetah Girls, you guys are going to have an album. I know you're putting out a solo album. Is that correct? Yeah. It's so, what well, do you want to have happen? Because you've seen success happen to all these other people. <laughs> well, that's what's actually really neat about the Cheetah Girls is we were actually the pioneers of the music, um, the music movies that they were doing, like the the musicals from the the channel, which is really cool because we really set up a huge foundation for High School Musical, and then we came back out and beat High School Musical's records, and then they came out and beat us again. You know, yeah. so it's really cool that we're all kind of just working our way up, and um, I just hope that the Cheetah Girls continues to go on. For my career, I want to um, always have projects that involve empowering girls and, um, you know, sending positive messages out there because there's not a lot right now, you know, yeah. that um, people can look at as far as, you know, positive role models and stuff. So everything I'm involved in um, from here on out, I want it to just be something that, you know, of course, I'm, I'm going to make mistakes just like everyone else, but at the same time, I am focused on um, c continuing that um, that role for kids. You bring up a couple of interesting things. How are you going to keep yourself on the on the, the right path? Keep yourself straight because you said the, the other young ladies out there perhaps aren't the best role models, and even you're talking about how your parents didn't want you to divorce them. <laughs> how have you kept it together, and how do you plan on keeping it together? My family either? completely has been everything that's grounded from that has grounded me from the start and will continue to always be that. They, you know, they're so supportive and, but they don't really get caught up in, you know, everything. They're, they're just, they're so cute, my mom and dad. They're, I, I absolutely adore them. And, yes. and um, you know, they just support me like, like parents and, and they have an amazing relationship that I can look up to and both of them are huge role models in my life. And I think that's what's so important is, um, you know, it's great to have people, like I've always looked up to Gwen Stefani and and you know Madonna and, and I loved Janet and but at the same time I had real role models that I could actually talk to in my house and I think that that's what's always been able to to help me with you know when I had problems and things I had people around me that I could talk to and um, go to for advice yeah.